Hey there, everybody. Um, welcome to my front porch here in Punta Uva, just outside of Puerto Viejo. So some of you have asked, some of my friends have asked about how I do my natural deodorant. So because many of the stores right now are closed still, um, you know, you can do a natural deodorant yourself instead of you know ordering it online and getting it shipped and that sort of thing it's super easy you probably have most of these things in your kitchen already and so it's super economical and super easy i'm going to show you how easy it is so you can use um, cornstarch you can also use arrowroot powder which they do have here at one of the specialty stores but i opted out because i think it was like twenty dollars <laughs> something crazy so I'm going to go with cornstarch, and you can make, you know, as much as you think you need. I usually make enough to fill this little container. Um, this is uh, some natural deodorant that I bought in Canada, and I ran out of quite a long time ago, and so I just kept the container. And so I'm going to do four tablespoons. One, two... Actually, no, I'm going to do three. I don't need to make that much. Three tablespoons of cornstarch or arrowroot powder, if you have. And then baking soda. It's the same. Um, oops. Same. So I'm going to do three. Three tablespoons. One. Two. Uh, three and a little bit. Three and a little bit. And if you have super sensitive skin, you might want to start with less baking soda um, and more cornstarch. You could do maybe four tablespoons of the cornstarch and two of the baking soda if you have really sensitive skin. I don't. And we all know I have hippie armpits. So it's not like I shave and it's not like there's ever <laughs> exposed skin there. So I'm just going to blend that and stir that around. Do, do, do. Feel like a little bit of Martha Stewart. Going hippie in the jungle. Okay, so that's done and done. And now you're going to take coconut oil, which is already um, warmed up or melted. And you're going to do four tablespoons. One, two, Three, four, and then you're going to stir that around until it creates the paste. Some people, if they have one of those like KitchenAid things, they do that, but I don't know. That's like a whole lot of fuss and muss, I think, because this actually works pretty well. It's the lumps get out like already. The lumps are. You can check it out. So it's pretty liquidy right now. I, I know that liquidy isn't a word as a former English teacher, but um, it is quite runny. But that's okay, because we're going to let it set. So once you've done that, you can add um, whatever kind of essential oil you like. So I like um, grapefruit. Just it's nice and fresh. You can also just have nothing. I've done lavender too, and sometimes combinations. So I'm going to add about 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, drops it off, do, 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 do. watch Sesame Street, and that's it, essentially, like, literally that's it. So you can order this um, homemade deodorant, which is pretty much the same on Amazon, and have it shipped with all of the flights and all of the packaging. And probably pay like $15.99 or you can just make your own and this probably costs me about I don't know maybe a dollar dollar fifty so I pour it into my little container and then I'm just gonna put it in the fridge to set for a bit and, um, and that's it done and done so here's I hope this was inspiring to you and uh, See you next time.